What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video today. I want to make a video that has been requested. It is all about familiar. So how you level them, how you get them, how you upgrade them, the the gear for the uh, for familiars. So everything you need to know about familiars is going to be in this video. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the topic how are you going to get familiars? The easiest way is from the Mystic Spire where you can forge pacts starting from 1A and 1B and going up to Pact 4, all offering different um, familiars. So in Pact A, for example, you can click on the little icon, you can get Terroid, Allcrew, Magma Lord, Engineer and Jeziak, so four level 1 uh, familiars and one level 2 familiars. If you click on these, you can see that the Allcrew is, for example, upgrading or increasing your timber production. Magma Lord is increasing your stone production, Engineer your ore production, and Jezik is increasing your vault storage. So this is a very nice thing to start when uh, getting packed. So start with 1A because it is just boosting your production. The level 2 uh, familiar from pack A is increasing your merging speed, which is also pretty nice for all the following packs that you want to merge. So you should really focus first on pack 1A. Next up, pack 1B is, um, this guy is giving you um, free stamina, <clears throat> terror spike, uh, food production, gnome gold production, beast maker, okay, this is increasing your supply, troops travel speed, not too crazy, and this is increasing your gathering troops travel speed. So also quite nice, but not um, as good as pack 1A. So... For beginners, for complete beginners, start with Pact um, 1A. Then, how you get to Pact 2, Pact 3 and Pact 4, there is a research that you have to do. So if I go to the lab, um, and then here on Familiars, then you can see you can um, just unlock these by just researching here. This is for Pact 2, this is Pact 4, Pact 3, and this is for Pact 4. Of course, this is um, the tree in research that you should focus on if you really want to improve your familiars because it is just everything about familiars. This is increasing your merging speed. Um, this is increasing, uh, decreasing your merging cost for pack two. The same is here for pack one, um, right here. Um, so really focus on this tree if you want to uh, focus on familiars. Then there's also the familiar battles tree where you can also increase your merging speed. But this is just for later if you send familiars to battle with your troops. So this is for later if you have already unlocked pack 3 or pack 4 um, familiars. Yes. So that's about the research. If this tutorial is too quick, I'm just going to uh, try to put as much information in this video in as um, few time as possible. So if this is too uh, few information, just let me know in the comments below if there is anything that I should do in another tutorial and put more focus on this. So next up, the gym. Um, I only have one gym. Why? Because you can select. So let me just cancel the training for now. Um, you can select, if you go on training, you can select heroes. But you can only select one hero for one familiar. So if you have two gyms and you can train two familiars at the same time, you cannot select one hero for both of them. You have to choose. So this is why I'm selecting that all of my heroes go with one familiar that I focus on. This goes for one day and two hours so you just have to refresh it every day and um, by the way um, cancelling it does not do anything it just gives you the exp that the um, familiar got up until this point in time you, you can cancel it whenever you want to um, so there's no problem in cancelling next up as you can see i got springs all over the place here all level 25 why? Let me show you. If you go on information, you can see the um, <clears throat> it is increasing your merging speed for the packs up to 20%. So 
so this is quite huge and also anime production um, which is also quite nice but I got 20% for all the um, springs that you can see here last up let's talk about um, oh second last one let's talk about how you can get the familiars to elder stage and to max level so for example here let's scroll a little bit down let's go for the beastmaster you can see I got enough runes um, to upgrade him to adult level but if I want to upgrade him you can see it requires familiar level 50 so I would have to upgrade him to level 50 and then let's see if I have another familiar that is around this level the Jedi I upgraded him at level 50 then he becomes an adult and then you can upgrade him with your shards to elder um, so you only need <clears throat> one time or the shards one time for the lower familiars but for example for the level 5 familiars you need to upgrade them twice so you can see at level 20 I can upgrade them once um, oh no sorry you need you need it for all of them <laughs> but at level 20 you can upgrade them once and um, then at level 50 you can upgrade them this, uh, the next time why should you do this uh, just simply because here your skills for the familiar have um, specific level of these have a required familiar level and of course you cannot get the familiar to a higher level if the max level for example for this guy here um, would be level 20 so you have to upgrade these to first of all upgrade your skill level and second of all you can also unlock um, certain skills so for example here I can I can just do this for bunny um, how is he called bunny hoops honey Hue hoops sorry for the bunny so uh, this is increasing my army max HP at the um, elders uh, at the adult stage so if I click on upgrade you can see it requires familiar level 20 then if I give him some EXP hopefully that is enough probably not yeah I, w I won't have enough I just upgraded uh, some familiars that if I would have upgraded him to level 20 then I would be able to um, get him to the to the adult stage and unlock this um, familiar skill if you want to act um, if you want to get active skills which are uh, the support skills that are here on uh, shown with the familiar icon on the very right <clears throat> then you have to upgrade a familiar to the elder stage which happens at level 50 or which is going to be unlocked at level 50 uh, so as you can see I have also um, familiars that you cannot get from um, merging packs how did I get them first of all there are special events where you can buy them for gem <coughs> sorry for gems <coughs> for example in the bargain store um, <coughs> and you can also get them in the labyrinth so if I just go through the labyrinth oh sorry not the labyrinth <coughs> the kingdom tycoon sorry you can also get them in the Kingdom Tycoon. For example, let's see. Um, where are we? Can't find. <clears throat> okay, so in this round there isn't any familiar, but you can sometimes get um, packs out of the Kingdom Tycoon, which is pretty nice uh, because the better familiars give huge battle boosts. So, for example, if you get uh, go to the Bon Appetit, it is giving your coalition army attack plus ten percent. It is destroying seven to fifteen percent of all resources in an enemy uh, turf, and it's also increasing your infantry attack. 
Um, which is really huge, I guess. Um, so I think that should be pretty much everything, but I'm also going to cover the best equipment um, for familiar. So let's just go for um, packed merging speed. Where is it? Merging speed boost packed. Okay, so the accursed mask, which you can get from hunting voodoo shamans, is very nice. Um, same thing here. You can also get these from hunting voodoo shamans. Um, ancestral kit, also the same. Bone stuff, also the same. Offhand weapon, there is no offhand weapon, and the. Um, Accessory, you guessed it, you will also get it. Oh no, the accessory is just uh, from anything. So you just um, gather resources to get these um, these accessories, the mystic box. Uh, so if you want to fo uh, focus on familiars, then just keep in mind um, that you just have to um, hunt the voodoo shaman, which is giving you the helmet the armor, the legs, and the main hand weapon. Um, of course, upgrade them as far as possible um, to get them to the highest level as possible. So this is my gear uh, that I'm using for familiars. Um, I think that's pretty nice. That's it. That should be it, I think. If I missed on anything, if anything is unclear, just let me know in the comments below. And if it is a big topic that I should do another tutorial on, also let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on this. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed it. 12 minutes, a little bit over 12 minutes. I think that's fine for everything that you need to know about familiars. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.